Hello, thank you for joining us. We begin with a stunning health revelation today from NFL Hall of Famer Brett Favre. I'm sure you'll understand why it's too late for me because I've recently been diagnosed with Parkinson's. This is also a cause dear to my heart. The former Vikings and Packers quarterback was speaking before Congress this morning. Parkinson's disease is a central nervous system disorder that affects movement, often causing tremors. Health officials say the disease affects about 500,000 people in the United States. But given that many people go undiagnosed, the actual number may be much higher. We don't know what far of symptoms are or when he was diagnosed, but it raises the question of if the disease is connected to his football career. Red Chapman spoke with a top neurologist for some insight. What causes Parkinson's is unknown, but one of the leading neurologists in the field says it is directly linked to a lack of a chemical in the brain. In Parkinson's disease particularly, there are some cells deep in the brain that make dopamine. And those cells are the ones that tend to die out or are damaged, for example. What that causes in some patients is a slowness in movement and resting tremors when the hand shakes when you are sitting or at rest. No two people have exactly the same thing. Uh, in general, you make a diagnosis by looking at the clinical symptoms. Without examining Favre, Dr. Vitek says there is no way to know what his symptoms are or how long he has been impacted by them. What he does know is his 20-year career in the NFL may have increased his chances of having Parkinson's. It, it's hard to definitively say that's the case, but there is an increased incidence of Parkinsonism slash PD in people that play football. And there seems to be a relationship to how long they play and the intensity in which they played. What therapies his doctors use for treatment depends on his symptoms. Dr. Vitek says Favre's active lifestyle is a plus. Many Parkinson's patients are given an exercise regimen to help. But if you do a lot of the things that your doctor is telling you to do, if you do the exercise programs that people can put you on, participating in clinical studies that are being done. There's new chemicals and drugs coming down the road, different types of infusion therapies, things like deep brain stimulation. We get better and better at it. Uh, the duo, there's all kinds of options and new things coming. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. Once again, Dr. Vitek says playing football for many years and taking a lot of hard hits does increase your chances of Parkinson's. But for now, it is impossible to know if that is connected to Favre's diagnosis.